ever looked at certain French beaded flowers and wonder why some stems are perfectly smooth and some are very lumpy? In this video, I'll show you how to assemble your beaded flowers so that you get a smooth and slim stem. Hi everyone, I'm Fen Lee, a designer here at the Beat Flower Studio, author to the book Beat Flora, the revival of French beaded flowers, and a bead instructor at the Beat and Bun Shop. On this channel, I offer free beaded flower tutorials, tip videos, and technique videos just like this one. The goal of this channel is to help you shorten your learning curve while starting out to make French beaded flowers. If you're new here and would like to learn more, consider subscribing. Today, I'll be showing you how to assemble a flower from the third technique project from my book, Yellow Tea Rose. Since I taught this project in the classroom, I will only show you the relevant techniques and not the full pattern. I'll put the links in the description with where you can get a copy of my book. It's also part of the Amazon Kindle Unlimited program, so you can have access to the patterns if you have Kindle Unlimited. You can also sign up for a 30-day free trial. I wanted to make this as easy as possible for everyone to have access to my book when I'm running this Bead Along series. I also put together a kit that I listed in my Etsy shop. If you purchase that kit, you'll get the written pattern along with the full video tutorial. One of the things that I do differently from my peers when assembling flowers is using thread instead of wire. There are two benefits to that. First, thread is cheap. And second, it does a great job of securing the petals in after you wrap it in with flower tape. It creates a smooth stem without lumps. And finally, I'll show you how to floss a stem to create a flower that will stand the test of time. Everything I show you today um, is the secret sauce to creating impeccable flowers. I have all the components made and now we are ready to assemble. First, we're going to start with petals A. So take something like a pen or a dowel, have the back facing you, shape it in. Do the same with the other petal. Curl the second petal slightly and wrap it around the first petal. You don't need to play around with it too much. You can shape it more later. Now I'm going to attach the petal to a length of 12 gauge stem wire. Use the length that you want your rose to be. I always use a longer length of wire because you can always cut it later to make it shorter. I'm going to use thread to attach the petals on. You can use whatever thread you have. Just wrap the thread around the wires and go all the way down until the petal wires are attached. Then wrap the thread all the way up the stem again. Now add the next set of petals and that is petals B. Bend the petals back at the base. Now wrap each one of the petals in one by one. If the thread breaks because you've pulled too hard, just wrap it around the top again and continue wrapping.
Now we are ready to add in the next set of petals, petals C. All of petals C are attached, and now we are ready to move on to petals D. These are the ones with the reverse wrap, so have the twisted wire facing in. After all the petals are wrapped in, cut the thread and make a knot. Have it towards the top so you can hold onto it with your fingers. The knot won't be tight, but once you put the floral tape around it, it will be secure. So hold on to the knot with your finger and then wrap the floral tape around. You don't need to go all the way down at this point. Now we are ready to add the sepals, and we want to have the right side facing in. And then add the sepals in with thread. Now we are ready to make a knot at the top. And wrap the whole thing with floor tape. So now you notice if I wrap the sepals in along with the petals, you'll see white in between here from the thread. But because I separated the assembly, you just see the green from the floor tape. Now let's wrap everything up with floral tape. Now I will show you how to assemble the leaves. We will make two sets of these leaves. For the top, we have one of leaf C, two of leaf B right here, and two of leaf A. To get started, we're going to need a length of 18 gauge stem wire. Now this is quite long. This is how it came in the pack of stem wires from the craft store. We will cut them later when we assemble the row so that all the wires are flush. So take leaf C and attach it to the stem wire with floral tape. Go down about an inch and then attach leaves B on each side of the wire. Now wrap in the first leaf. Then place the other leaf on the other side. Now go down another inch and add in leaves A. Just wrap the floral tape around until the leaf wires are covered. We're going to floss the stem using embroidery floss. You don't have to, but it gives your stem a nice finishing touch. 
I'm using DMC floss. You can go to the craft store and find some floss that you like. I am using a cotton finish, but there are also metallic finishes that I love. Tie a little knot at the top of the stem wire. Bring the little end down and hold on to it with your thumb. And just wrap the floss around the stem. So find a way that works best for you when you wrap. You can wrap the floss around the stem or turn the stem back and forth as you wrap it. You can wrap the floss without moving the stem, but I like to turn it so that I can see where I am wrapping. Once you get to the leaves, move it down and bend it back up. After you've reached the bottom of the last two leaves, wrap down another quarter inch. Cut the floss off and make a knot. Then wrap that little knot with floor tape. Now we are ready to put everything together. We are going to floss the stem to the rows here. So do the same thing we did with the leaves and tie a knot at the base. Another thing you can do is to put the floss between the sepal and the petals and then wrap it around the base of the stem. We're going to keep wrapping until we decide, hey, this is where we want our leaves to be. So this is where I want to add my first set of leaves. Cut off the floss and make a knot over here. Wrap it with floral tape. You get the drill. Just wrap it until it covers the knot. Bend a leaf stem slightly and attach it with floral tape. Go down about an inch or so. Now 
Now hook the embroidery floss between the two stem wires and just continue wrapping the floss around the stem until you are ready to add in the next set of leaves. This is where I want to add my next set of leaves, cut the floss, and make a knot. Now add in the second set of leaves right over here. I'm going to cut the stems flush over here. Finish wrapping it with floral tape. Now we can continue flossing the stem. Hook the embroidery floss between the main stem and the leaf stem and continue flossing down. This is where I want to end the floss. I have about three inches of bare stem wire. Cut the floss, knot it, wrap with floral tape all the way down the stem. Now shape the petals. Now that I showed you the secret sauce, will you follow the recipe? When following a pattern, just like in a cake recipe, you can substitute coconut oil for butter or honey for sugar, but if you don't use baking soda, your cake will fall short. Now I'm talking about sauce and cakes. Are you getting hungry? If you're hungry for more sweet tutorials like this, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell to be notified of whenever I upload a new tutorial. Also, join me in the Facebook group that I run with Lauren Harpster to show off your beaded flowers. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week with a new tutorial. Bye!